Saudi Arabia just shocked American scientists with this. Saudi Arabia has made a discovery that has left scientists worldwide in awe. From the depths of the desert sands, something has emerged that could change our understanding of the world forever. What is this mysterious discovery? And what does it mean for the future of science? Join us as we uncover the secrets of this incredible find and explore its implications for the world as we know it. One of the largest countries on the Arabian Peninsula is the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Its size is comparable to that of the continental United States east of the Mississippi River. Forests, grasslands, mountain ranges and deserts are just some of the varied landscapes found in Saudi Arabia. The weather is different in every part of the country. In the summer, the desert can reach temperatures of over 110 degrees Fahrenheit, while parts of the north and center of the country can experience temperatures well below freezing. The average annual rainfall in Saudi Arabia is only 4 inches. Drained dry When modern intensive farming first began in Saudi Arabia, there was a staggering amount of water beneath the desert, 120 cubic miles which is enough water to fill Lake Erie in the United States. In contrast, over the past few decades, up to 5 cubic miles of water has been pumped to the surface annually, specifically for use on farms. Rainfall amounts are effectively non-existent, which means that almost none of it is made up by replacement. The Saudis were on track to use up at least 96 cubic miles of their aquifers by the year 2008 based on the extraction rates that were detailed in a paper that was published in 2004 by the School of Oriental and African Studies in London. According to the assessments of various specialists, approximately 80% of Saudi Arabia's fossil water has already been depleted. That means that in a little more than a generation, one of the greatest and oldest freshwater resources on the planet, which is located in one of the hottest and most parched places on the planet, has been nearly depleted. Growing food in the sandpit Because there is very little to no rainfall, there are no rivers, lakes or regions that have an abundance of naturally occurring vegetation. The Saudi people have been able to find sufficient water to sustain their daily lives over the course of many centuries, first through oases and later through desalination plants. However, a national effort that began relatively recently has resulted in changes to the desert and has led to a significantly increased demand for water resources. When certain regions are zoomed in on, it is revealed that there are indeed areas of intense greenery that were not created by nature. When viewed from above, the Saudi Arabian landscape appears to be dotted with green patches that are likely agricultural fields made possible by irrigation. There are tens of thousands of milk cows housed in enormous buildings in the area. These animals have enormous water and cooling requirements. The water that is used to perform these miracles in the desert is pumped from aquifers that were filled thousands of years ago when the climate in Saudi Arabia was much wetter. These aquifers are located a great distance below the surface. The discovery of water in such an improbable location provided the country with the opportunity to realize its long-sought goal of becoming self-sufficient in terms of food production rather than continuing to rely on the importation of food from other nations. However, the effectiveness of this solution is limited and time is running out quickly. Wealth derived from oil Saudi Arabia is located on two bodies of liquid, water and oil. The oil, which was produced in quantities that led the world, paid for the enormous expense of pumping water to the surface so that it could be used in farming and the raising of livestock. The revenue from oil continues to increase for the time being, but there is a rapid decrease in the amount of water available, and the Saudi government has decreed that wheat production will be restricted to a few more years at most. The country is currently investing a significant portion of its immense wealth in the purchase of agricultural land in other, more verdant countries. Water Reclamation Not only is there a problem with the quantity of water that is available, but also with the quality of the water that is available. Climate change will contribute to water scarcity, not only because of increased temperatures and extended drought periods, 
that put a strain on water demand and existing water resources, but also because of the degradation of water resources that will occur as a result of extreme precipitation events that carry pathogens and other contaminants into the waterways via runoff and flooding. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia KSA, may soon overtake the United States and China as the world's third largest market for water reclamation and reuse if it is successful in achieving its ambitious goal of using 100% of its waste water that has been treated by the year 2025. This goal was set by the KSA. The municipal wastewater treatment and reuse sector in Saudi Arabia is currently valued at a total of $4.69 billion in terms of its market size. It is essential for businesses as well as private investors to have a solid understanding of this industry due to the magnitude of the market and the scope of its expansion opportunities. Although leak detection, water conservation technologies, and design-build operate contracts have only relatively recently emerged as growing niche markets, desalination, new infrastructure, and wastewater treatment continue to be the most important markets in the water sector. Desalination by itself is not a complete solution to any of the issues, even though the costs of producing desalinated water have been steadily going down. It is still important to take into account the costs associated with the environment and transportation. Riyadh, which has the highest per capita water consumption of any city in the country, gets its desalinated water from a facility located in Jubail, which is more than 400 kilometers away. Pumping water over significant distances is an expensive endeavor, and it frequently results in leaks. The true cost of the Saudi Arabian government of obtaining one cubic meter of desalinated water is approximately $6, while the total cost to repurpose treated wastewater is less than $2.97 per cubic meter. This difference is due to the fact that the full cost of repurposing treated wastewater is lower. Therefore, water reclamation and reuse present the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia with a less expensive way to satisfy the ever-increasing demand for water in the kingdom. The transition to thinking of treating wastewater as a water resource began in 2007 when the management of wastewater systems was moved from the Ministry of Municipalities and Rural Affairs to the Ministry of Water and Electricity. This transfer symbolizes the shift towards viewing treated wastewater as a source of water. Sources of Water Supply in Saudi Arabia, 2018 The research also indicates that recycled water could supply 26% of the kingdom's urban water demands. However, treated wastewater is not drinkable and is instead put to limited industrial and public land irrigation uses. Grey water recovery and sewage recycling programs have many benefits, including a low production cost and reduced water usage. By pumping recycled sewage into ground aquifers, we can slow the rate at which salt water is seeping in from the ocean and reduce our reliance on chemical fertilizers. Customizing water quality for a given application also aids in energy savings. However, the infrastructure in the kingdom that collects and treats wastewater is inadequate. In 2014, the amount of sewage generated in major Saudi cities exceeded the treatment capacity of plants by 250 million cubic meters, posing risks to public health due to inadequate sewage treatment. The Saudi Ministry of Water and Electricity has determined that an investment of $53 billion will be necessary in the wastewater industry over the course of the next 15 years in order to solve this issue. Saudi Arabia's government in the 2000s recognized the significance and potential of wastewater treatment and reclamation, and as a result, the National Water Company and other related institutions were established. By establishing a financially sustainable long-term market for treated sewage affluent, the Saudi Water Act 2010 and the Treated Sewage Affluent TSC Initiative have made it possible to deliver substantial volumes of treated wastewater to the agricultural and industrial customers of the kingdom. The water industry also benefits greatly from private investment. The NWC has a 20-year plan for $23 billion in capital improvement projects related to wastewater treatment and reuse. 
The NWC is keen on forming P3s with interested parties, and the firm is currently working on a business plan for the privatization of wastewater treatment and reuse infrastructure, which could attract interest from investors all over the world. Overall, the costs and upfront investment for today's water reclamation systems are high, but the payoff is substantial. There will be more support for water reclamation policies and funding in the coming months. That's all we got for today's video. We will be right back with more. Until then, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.